All right, everybody, this is another episode of exposing the criminal enterprise known as the Hallelujah Scriptures. And they are out there, instead of repenting, instead of them undoing the evil that they have done and the, the bust that they have been busted, where they have no orphans, widows, or lepers, they continue on with this scam, just like nothing ever happened. They continue on with this scam, just like they will never, ever be caught. And they believe that they won't be caught. So let's take a look at what this says here. This is um, one of their latest things that they are putting out there. And so I want to be very thorough on all of this because in the end of this, I will show you this the grift that they are completely grifting on this one. And um, they're, they're, they're basically fleecing the people yet again. Let's go over this, what they say. One, free to those who cannot afford, supported by those who can. Part of that is true, right? It is not free. I still have a buddy of mine who came out of prison and he asked months and months and months ago for a free Bible. Nothing ever came his way. We've had a tremendous amount of people over the years. I've been investigating this now for about six months. And what I found out in this investigation is that for 13 years, they have been saying they have been giving Bibles to prisoners, to the poor, to all of this. When in fact, we have people that work for the Hallelujah Scriptures that I've interviewed for basically a 13 year time stamp, And every one of them say the last people that ever get scriptures are the prisoners. And the uh, Trisha Elliott and her family had stacks of letters where they had refused to give them to prisoners. We have um, Ted, Ted Ramp, Theodore Ramp, one of the, the president of Hallelujah Scriptures from about 13 years ago. He was uh, explaining the same thing. And everybody I've interviewed, they have had problems getting free Bibles out. So the Hallelujah Scriptures, they are a Bible sales company. They do not give free Bibles out. And like Greg Murray says, we are not a ministry. Greg Murray is one of the guys that has his name all over the bank accounts of the Hallelujah Scriptures, along with his girlfriend, Danette. Now, this is what the next thing they go on. All donations for Scriptures go to printing and shipping free copies unless specified. Right, And we've gone down this before, and you can go to the messianichalofshame.org, and you can look and you can see without a shadow of a doubt that these people are liars and they're fraudulent. The entire system is fraudulent. But now, this isn't the part of this, this thing. Let's just go down and let's talk about what they have. And uh, this is what they say. Shalom, supporters. We pray you are well. Hallelujah. The project has been busier than ever, with the orders having doubled, and the support has doubled and kept us so busy. Right, what kept them busy is they just got kicked out of the last place that they had. Their Bibles, they got kicked out. They, they, it, it is hard for the Hallelujah Scriptures to have a spot to keep Bibles because they do it under fraudulent circumstances. They always tell everybody that is out there that they will, that they, uh, that essentially um, work for free. That is what the whole thing of these guys are: is that they. They are trying to get everybody to work for free, and um, they put them on really strange contracts, and they do really crazy things to everybody that works for the Holy Scriptures. If you are ever planning on working for the Holy Scriptures, guys, go to the Messianic Hall of Shame.org and take a look at that. Now, let's continue on. Let's take a, a more looks on what they're saying here. The project continues to grow rapidly, and our workload has tripled. I don't think that's how you spell triple. We have mentioned previously that the team is starting on all the pallets that are needed so desperately in Ghana, Uganda, Kenya, South Africa, Cuba, Jamaica, Liberia, Nambia, Pakistan, Zambia, Austria, Mexico, or actually it's Australia, Mexico, a number of South American countries and a handful of other countries. We are working on sending over 50K items and materials. Guys, do you understand what they're saying here? We are sending 50K items, right? They have their little bookmarks. They have these little chitsy bookmarks and they have all their trash that they try to sell their extra their extra paraphernalia that they're trying to always uptake people on buy this take this right they have so many different grifts on this but the sad thing is is there are no orphans widows or lepers so it doesn't matter how good this sounds it matters that these guys are a criminal operation now where is, is this is um this is part of the the grift i'm going to show you guys these shipments were not done by postal agents that were planned to do this, so the project is now back in the hands of the team with much progress being made outside, being made, and pallets are now being worked on, and we will start shipping them out ASAP. That's the thing. is there, They do not ship these pallets. Whatever they ship out is for sale. 
That's all it is. It has been completely for sale. And Greg Murray tells us this. This is a business. Now, if you take a look at this, they put out an email uh, like a couple months ago and said that they, they're trying. People can win a copy of a, a big scriptures that they have if they sit there and they pose with these pictures. And so if you think that these people out there, these people are all poor people that got free scriptures, nobody in these pictures got free scriptures. Somebody somewhere bought these scriptures for them and it didn't come from the donations, right? Most of the people there probably ordered this themselves and spent their money and got that shit. So when you take a look at this, all these people, right? Beautiful families that are posing with their Hallelujah scriptures. That is because Deborah Weiss, the criminal enterprise organization mastermind, along with her, her husband, her, her, her wife, Ken, um, this is what they have. Now, I want to keep rolling through this because here is the grift. And I want to show you this because I'm going to show you another bank account here real shortly. Now, we have everybody sitting here being posed. Everybody sitting there with their Hallelujah scriptures, right? Everybody doing all this. And this is part of their grift is sending these things out like right here, right? And, you know, people get scriptures and, you know, do these people look poor to you, right? Do these people look like the people that they're always talking, oh, it's a famine for the word. The Internet's going to be shut off. There's, there's no way people are going to get their scriptures. Yet um, the people are getting their scriptures. People are reading and people are downloading. Now, this is the part coming up right here. Let me see. Philippines. There's a prisoner outreach here. Let me see if I can find this. It's really hard to find. Let me keep going. There's right there. This is it. This is what they don't do. And this is very, very evil because I've known a tremendous amount of people in prison and prisoners are the people that need the scriptures. And so they claim that they're sending all of these out there to these people. Now let's take a look at this grift and I'll show you their exposure. Last year, we asked our supporters to help a prison ministry. We know well as they were seeking help with paper, envelope, and stamps. A brother covered the cost for all the paper and envelopes and some of the stamps. They still have quite a bit of paper and envelope left. Thank you but they are in need of stamps. We thank you and the brother that helped them out. We have given them the last lot of money for stamps, so I am seeking more stamps or donations for them to buy stamps. And it continues on. They have been working in their prison ministry for over 20 years, are the only known prison ministry that do the work they do. Really? There's a tremendous amount of people in prison ministries that do a ton of work, right? So this is like they sucker these people in and then they're like, well, you know, we, we need some stamps. And it's simply asking for stamps, folks. But people will be sending in these grifters thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, let's take a look at why they do not need stamps for this prison ministry. Now, what we are looking at is we are looking at yet another account that the Hallelujah Scriptures has, right? This is the Hallelujah Scriptures Incorporated, P.O. Box 2283, Vineland, New Jersey. Now... When we take a look at this, and when this thing refreshes here, we'll notice this is the ending period. So this is February 2022, right? And this account has a balance of $58,584.85. Now, if the Hallelujah Scriptures was really, really concerned about the prisoners, then they would take some of the stolen money, and then they would actually put it to what they were saying they were doing. But see, this is how this grift rolls on. They constantly fleece the people over and over and over and over. Now, all of these balances in here, everything that's in here, their beginning balance for their month, and this is the this is their own this is the stamp operation account, right? This is where they they pay for all of their shipping out of. And again, this is all stolen funds. So we're talking their balance was $64,420.37. And guys, this is one of many accounts. We have another account, over $400,000. We have, we have PayPal accounts with hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
We have property at 3396 Panther Lane that's worth $400,000 they stole off the backs of the people. We have the property in Arkansas, which they just barely stole in September and October of last year that belongs to the people. So we're talking literally a million dollars in cash assets that they have sitting here as they sit here and cry the blues and they're like oh we just we need some stamps we, we need more money you know and that that is the grift right they continually shake these people down and these newsletters that they send out is their key to the grift that is that is how they make their money is because people are signed up to these newsletters and so they don't know and they people are learning people are seeing we get we get hundreds of people every single month to the messianic hall of shame dot org. Now, as we take a final look at this criminal operation, I would like to point us to the evidence and where you can find all of this. And what I'm saying is, is not being made up. We have a year's worth of invoices of bank statements, of invoices, of a statement, everything, everything that you need. It's all sitting here under evidence downloads. Everything I'm saying, right? And not only that, there's over 110 plus videos um, that detail from the very beginning of this investigation of this criminal enterprise all the way to where I have them completely busted and exposed. Now, these are the faces behind this. This is Deborah Weiss, a.k.a. Shalom. This is the one that lives in New Zealand that buys prostitutes with cash. We have that. She's already bought prostitutes. She buys drugs. She buys a tons, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of organics. This woman spends ten to fifteen thousand dollars every single month as she tries to get her little bunker in New Zealand dialed in because she thinks it's the end of the world. And when she's always writing, oh, the internet's going to be over. Oh, it's a famine for the word. If it was a famine, a real famine for the word, they would have allowed the PDF that I scanned of their scriptures to be distributed for free. They would have been celebrating the work of the kingdom that we are doing. And as much as they are now selling, I believe that we are offering as many downloads and have been given away as many free things as they are selling. So we have basically taken half of their business and, and they're, we're giving it away for free. And we've only just begun. You cannot be a criminal enterprise and do this on the backs of our creator. And you cannot do this on the backs of his people. When you sit and screw the people of our creator for years and years and years, that is a problem. Now, this is a guy that is completely complicit with it. This old, this old, this guy is crazy mug. This guy looks like an old, feeble old man. He's completely articulate. He's completely involved in this. He needs to be arrested along with Dan Nett, Alan Brona. This, this thing is who works for a university. Um, and is pulling all sorts of weight. And this is a criminal enterprise. She has her bills paid. I have exposed Dana Ellen for having her credit card bills paid out of the Hallow You Scriptures account. So every oath that these guys take is a lie. Every single thing they say is a lie. Now you have this psychopath right here. This guy is a <laughs> complete nutcase. He brings weapons, drugs, and alcohol, and a bunch of thugs with him to kick a little family out, right? He discharges his firearm in the air and scares the kids and, and is shooting in the air at dogs and things. He also is a methamphetamine junkie. This guy has, is also transporting illegally marijuana trafficking across the US. I have witnessed statements that have come forward that have given me this that ended up getting pistol whipped by this guy a year or so ago. The people that they have involved with the Hallelujah Scriptures is incredible. So guys, please share this. Let everybody know. It will take some time to get these people out of the loop. But for those who think the Hallelujah Scriptures Bible is going to be gone, it's not. This project that the Boss Clan is working on is, is amazing. And what we are going to be doing and what we are doing is we're taking it from the PDF and we're putting it back exactly every jot and every tittle. And I already have book distributors of people on their own, nothing to do with me, that want this book when it is done. Other Bible people, and since there is no copyright on this, we're gonna be taking all of this, and I'm not gonna, there, there's gonna be several versions. There will be the original Hallelujah Scriptures, which will be perfect, which will not be a scan, but it will be full reproduction. Then there's another set of scriptures we're going to be putting, all, basically you're gonna end up with a 80 or 90 book scriptures 
that has everything. Jasher, Enoch, Jubilees. It will have absolutely everything in there. And then we have plans for an application that will be for iOS and for Android. And so for those who think that the, the Holy Scriptures is like this, the only word of our creator that can survive or that is, is good, there's not. There's a lot of scriptures that are good. And guys, our creator is not in a codex. He is out in the real world. You have to seek him. You will seek him. You will find him. And it doesn't matter if you have a King James version. It doesn't matter what version of scriptures. When you seek our creator and figure out that the, that the law, statutes, and commandments are for all times, and that is a good thing, then you can find our creator anywhere. Guys, so let's put this evil behind us. Let's make sure the Hallelujah Scriptures is exposed. Thank you guys very much for watching this. Hope you have a good day.